Yo, hey, I uh, just want to make a real quick video here. Um, so, uh, I had a problem with a few songs in uh, iTunes, and uh, I discovered that I'm not the only one, and a lot of people don't know how to fix it. And this is just gonna be a real quick video how to, how, how to fix it. So, let's just put this. Uh, let's just delete this this songs from my list. <coughs> so yeah, I uh, gotta be honest here. I I nah, fuck it. Uh, I got the songs here. So when I put them in uh, iTunes, oh wait, this is the wrong one. Sorry, <laughs> I mean this one. it again so okay this these are the songs that I uh, got first so when I put them into iTunes they all uh, display the wrong time it all says 4 minutes and 22 seconds well uh, this song is actually 4 minutes and 54 seconds and as you can see when I play it in BS player it's, it says the right time but somehow in iTunes it doesn't and so it's like this 5 minutes and 21 seconds and the problem is that at 4 minutes and 22 seconds it will stop but it actually goes on longer and in other uh, f video players or music plays it will go to the very end but in iTunes and somehow it won't uh, I don't know why it uh, this does it but uh, with this song it is uh, 256 uh, kilobytes per second and somehow uh, I don't know if this is for every song but it doesn't matter but if your songs display the wrong time you need to convert them into uh, a little bit lower uh, bit rate and you think yeah that will fuck up my sound but it will almost uh, be not noticeable for uh, for you to hear so what you will do is you will take the the songs and uh, you just get a music uh, or a mv3 uh, converter or something like that that just uh, converts uh, sound files uh, I for, in, uh, for instance have a switch sound file converter don't know if this is a free program but uh, I don't know, I can't even remember how I got it, but just get some, uh, uh, for my part, you uh, even pirate it, I don't care about. Uh, you have to go to, it has to have encoder options, and this is what it, uh, the song was, uh, this was the bitrate of the original song, or yeah, original of the, of the song that, that I first had, and then I just uh, chose... Uh, one uh, that was a little bit less and yeah I converted them already uh, so let's delete these files again from my iTunes list uh, here was the the wrong uh, files with the wrong times these are the converted ones and as you can see this uh, these files they will uh, display the right uh, uh, running time so that's much better and you can actually uh, listen to the entire song which is pretty nice <laughs> because yeah you want to listen to the entire song so uh, thank you for watching and I hope this helped so remember if you have this problem I don't know perhaps this can also help uh, changing uh, just changing the start and stop time yeah you don't want to change the st start time but Perhaps you can uh, change the stop time, but usually that won't work if you have this problem. So you just have to convert it in an in in other bit rate. And uh, yeah, of course you, can, uh, you can't uh, convert it to a high bit rate. But uh, just uh, convert it to a little bit low bit rate and then uh, it will all be fine. And then iTunes uh, can actually display the right... Uh, time so yeah thanks uh, for watching and i hope it helped bye bye